Hey, y'all, good morning. Jesus is Lord. The Word works, and I'm not in strife. I'm not going to be in strife. I'm not going to allow it in my house. I resist it in the name of Jesus. One more little teaching here on what strife does. Opens the door to the devil. Everything that he can do to you is opened up when you're in strife. You're taken captive at him by his will or at the will of the devil, and you are instructing that you got to get yourself out of it. God cannot remove strife from your life, you are the one that has to do it. Prayers won't be answered, separate you between you and your God, and you won't get revelation. Now, if you'd like these notes on that, uh, maybe I'll print out some more to go with it. Uh, you, you, you can just send me a simple letter at Post Office Box 26, Cropwell, Alabama, 352, mm -mm, 35054, and I will send these to you free. I want to help you. Okay, now watch this. Genesis chapter 13. God's called Abraham out, and he's going out, and he took Lot with him. Then it says here in verse 7, there was a strife between the herdmen of Abraham's cattle uh, cattle, and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. Now, what happened was the blessings of God was so on them that they could hardly contain it all, and so they began to get a strife over who's got the most, who's going to get the most. It's kind of like people I've seen, well, you know, mom and daddy passed away. I hope I get as much or maybe more than my brothers and sisters did, uh, you know, in the will. And they get all upset about it and worry about it. And that's strife, being concerned about who's going to get the most. Well, watch this now. And so there, there was a strife be between the two herdsmen, and the Canaanites and the Perizzites dwelled in the land. Now, Genesis 13, 8, Abraham was smarter than most spirit-filled, word-toting, Bible-believing Christians. Abraham said unto Lot, Let there be no strife. He had sense enough, no strife kill you. Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdsmen and, and thy herdsmen. For we're brethren. Then he says, Is not the whole land out here before us? He said, We can't afford this strife, boys. We can't have it. See, Abraham knew strife would divide them create difficulties for them, and they'd be destroyed by them Canaanites and Hebazites, or them Canaanites and uh, Pezzites that dwelled in the land. So he said, I pray thee, let there be no strife. I ain't going to have it. you got to say that. There will not be strife. Listen, I've had to let employees at the church go because I told them, there ain't going to be no strife on this church uh, uh, board. There's not going to be any strife, a strife of any kind in the employees in this church. Uh, one Sunday, I had to kick out one of my own children. I said, there ain't going to be no strife here. You're not going to do that and create strife because there's got to be unity here because I knew what would happen to the church if I allowed them to be there. And the Bible says in Proverbs, you cast out the scorner and strife and contention ceases. That's why the churches can't grow. We're filled with all kinds of scorning and strife and bickering and, and carrying on. Okay, go back to Abraham. Let there be no strife between us. Then he says, is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself. So he had sense enough to know, I got to get away from the one that's causing strife. Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If you want to take the left hand, then I'll go to the right hand. But if you want to the right hand, then I'll go to the left. And, and watch this. After they separated, and Abraham said, ain't going to be no strife, then the Lord came to him and said, look out upon everything that is out there, and I will bless thee. So, strife cuts off the blessings from God. Now, you know the story. Lot looked out there, and he chose the best. I mean, he chose the best because he wanted God's blessings at Abraham's expense. That's what strife is. He wanted to be blessed of God. Nothing wrong with that. But he wanted to be blessed of God, and he didn't care whether Abraham got his or not. So he chose the best. Well, because he chose the best and his attitude was wrong, he wound up down there in Sodom and Gomorrah. And you know how that story turned out. But Abraham was still a good, godly man, and he went in and delivered him anyway. But the blessings of God that God had promised to Abraham didn't start coming on Abraham until Abraham said, hey, no strife, not going to have it. Separate yourself. Get away from me. So if you've got a situation that's always causing strife, you're better off just to get away from it. You know, um, don't, you know, um, like I told you a while ago, I don't let people work for me that's in strife. Uh, if I hire uh, somebody to work on my airplane, and I go out there, and he's kicking the tires or, or doing something and, and cussing, cursing my airplane. I said, well, whoa, hold it right there. You either get this thing right 
or you're fired right now, and I'll hire somebody else to complete this job because I don't need nobody putting a curse on my airplane, and I sure don't need no strife that keeps the blessings of God off of me. Same way with my cars. I don't tell uh, the people that I use are not bad people. I don't, they may not be quite as good a mechanic, but I don't know, want no cussing, fussing, strife filled people working on what got to bless me. So you got to get rid of this strife stuff. The blessings of God are withheld from us. Not that God's holding them back, but that strife puts that division between us and God, and we can't receive the full benefits of the kingdom until we get strife out. So your first decision is, ain't going to have it, not going to have it. I'm going to resist it. Now, the good part starts tomorrow when I show you how to get rid of it so that we don't have to have it anymore. But until then, you got to know, man, I'm not letting strife come around my house anymore. I give you all kinds of scripture on it. If you want these notes, some of the others, hey, just drop me a line, you know, post office box 26, Cropwell, Alabama, 35054. I'll send them to you. It takes a week or two for me to get it after I get you mail. But I want you to be strife free. Now, I won't send it tomorrow because I want to give you an outline the next couple of days on how to get rid of strife. And you can add these scriptures. You can meditate on these scriptures. You can think about these things. And you can go back over these tapes over and over and over and over and get rid of it and start walking in the joy of the Lord, the abundance of God, divine health, and all that rightfully belongs to you because Jesus is Lord. And thank God the Word works.